everyone and in today's video we will be covering the most strategic airports you can buy in pocket planes and I have about 10 airports, 10 regions I mean, um, which I'll be showing you in this video and I'll tell you why I think they're really strategic for your airline and that every airline should have um, the airports I'm going to mention and so let's get started with number one, we're going to be starting off from North America we're going to go to South America, then we're going to go to Africa Europe, um, Asia, and then coming in here. So that's the plan, and I'll let's get started. So the first airport I'm going to be recommending to everyone is going to be Los Angeles because um, it's one of the few airports. It's um, it's one of the it's one of, it's the only class three airport in this region, well except for Mexico City, but um, it's a bit far away near Chicago, so. But it's one of the few airports in this region and there's a lot of money opportunities you can get in Los Angeles. Um, you can get flights to Tokyo, Sydney and they make quite a lot of money. Um, and also it's a gateway to Western US so um, you, you can make quite a lot of money. You can also have a few airports around it. Um, it's really good for cloudliners and stuff. Um, I usually fly one for Los Angeles, Shanghai and Seoul, uh, Beijing. So. Um, as you can see, it's and also Los Angeles is really good in jobs. Um, maybe the best U.S. airport in terms of jobs you can get in Los Angeles, and it's really good airport. Um, and yeah, so let's we're gonna be going to number two. So number two is gonna be New York City because it is the only airport you can have which is going to get you into Europe um, for a lot of planes. For class 3 planes, oh, ex except the Starship and Concorde, you have to have New York, or you can go through some um, Chicago or somewhere, but New York is going to be the, it's the standard for airports. It's a lot of jobs, and also, um, the reason I say it, it's only because of its position, and it's a well-known city, why not have it? Um, there's a lot of airports surrounding it. You can also on Starship, you can go from New York to, um, you know, Delhi, Mumbai, you can go to Africa if they're upgraded, um, and it's, it's, the, it's the airport which is going to get you into Europe, and also one of the key airports in this life you should get if you start in Europe or the US, so that's why I put you um, New York in my second. So the next one is not just one airport, it's actually three, three airports, um, basically it's you need the three airports to form a bridge um, or two, um, at least two, two of them, but three of them I'll recommend. So those are, um, show you now. So one of them is Lagos, Recife and Bogota, but you can substitute Bogota for Miami, but um, Bushcraft and other, some, some of the small planes couldn't do um, to Miami, so Bogota I'll recommend it, um, but Miami is there if you want it. So, or you can have Lima. Which is not bad at all, but I would recommend Pagoda, but that's your choice because these airports are not meant to be um, used for any jobs or anything, just for transit. So, the reason why I recommend this hub, um, these two airports, at least Recife and Lagos, or Salvador, but go to Recife, um, is because these are the, this, that's the only way um, Equinoxes or your Birchcrafts are going to make it into the US and the Americas. and. It's quite a good region, well not for jobs or anything, but it's really good for transit. Um, and the reason I put it in is because that's the only region you can actually get into America from. For the Air Eagles, it's a different story, you can just skip, um, you can go straight from the East Coast to the um, European Union, but um, it's a different story for other planes. Now for Super Gophers and stuff, you can have coming in through there. Now this recommendation is going to be more um, geared towards class 1 players and stuff, the starting ones, the ones who are starting off um, and need to get into the other continent, um, so you know, if you're on the end of the pond in US or Europe. So basically for that, the key um, strategic place is um, what I call the America Trail and it is um, you buy Goose Bay, New, I'm not sure how to say, Reykjavik and you can up at Belfast or Glasgow or you can buy London if you have the range or Manchester but, um, but that's the thing and basically that's the only way class 1 planes can get into Europe the easy way and not all class 1 planes can actually even get through this um, only the well the siding ones um, 
The wall of this can only make it to Reykjavik. The Griffins can actually make it the whole trip. Then the, con the air, air vents and stuff can, of course, make the whole trip. So that's why I put it on my list. And anyone who's starting off um, in one of these regions should really look into getting that um, because once you get the, okay. well, if you get into the other region, um, there's a lot of money coming in, um, and you can watch the global expedition series to look at look more into that. Now for this one, I'm a bit mixed up, um, but you can buy either, either one of these two airports: is London and Madrid. The reason I've said Madrid is because um, it's quite close and you can have a lot of flights coming in from the East Coast and it, um, there's a range to each of the East Coast airports on the Air Eagles and you can make it to New York and stuff. And also why I said London is because of its class to the um, and um, it's also, you can also make New York to London flights on the Air Eagles if you upgrade them enough. Um, so that's why I said also London the reason um, I say I'll maybe put it a bit over Madrid because there are lots of jobs from London to Australia um, and Asia so that's why I put London both on top of Madrid but um you couldn't really go wrong with them both or uh, um, yeah now this airport is the key to everyone's successful airline that is Istanbul because it's the best choice um, when you need to get into Asia and stuff and you really couldn't do anything else it's the most strategic placed airport um, and it's the most important maybe in the whole game in my opinion to have um, you can also have Middle East airports so I prefer Istanbul and um, you, can, you can just look at the stats there's quite a lot of flights going in and out of Istanbul because it's the only way I can link um, Europe to the to Asia, um, now I, I can do it to the Middle East and Russia, but I don't prefer to because Istanbul is a more direct position for that, and um, it's really strategic, and that's why I have it. Um, and I think everyone should have that airport because of its strategic position. Now you couldn't go wrong with either three of these: um, Karachi, Delhi, or Mumbai, because you need one of these airports. Become when you're coming in with cloud tunnel flights from Los Angeles, as I said before, coming into Asia, um, if you don't use Istanbul, what you can do is um, go from London to Mumbai or somewhere, and then you can direct onto Asia. And also, it's important because of the fog bus and stuff, they couldn't do the Istanbul to Shanghai or those kind of legs, so they need a stop in this region. So, I, I recommend these three airports Delhi, Karachi, Mumbai. Um, and you naturally have to have these airports you know, when you expand. So now going deep into Asia, um, Jakarta is actually one of the most strategic airports because it's the closest class airport to Australia, and also because commercial crafts can make that journey. Um, and there's a lot of jobs coming out of Jakarta to all sorts of places. Um, and Singapore is also really good, but Jakarta is more reliable. Um, you can get jobs out of it, so it's a better buy, in my opinion, and also it's closer to the continent, so you can have more flights, or you can have quicker flights coming, um, going between, so that's why I recommend Jakarta to anyone who's on the thing. Now, Sydney might not be the most strategic, strategic airport um, that I might talk about, but the reason I've put it in on my list is because it's a gateway to Australia and stuff, and and there's a lot of money you can make out of Sydney because Los, An so Los Angeles, um, the West Coast, um, South America, London, um, Europe, I mean, you know, a lot of them have flights to Sydney and they're really good in jobs. Um, I'll show you right now. So, as you can see this, you can make quite a lot of money flying this. Um, it takes about two hours, but I think it's worth the cost. And these, they're only to class one, two airports. Um, that's why I recommend you buy it. Also, you can have you can have bragging rights that you operate in Australia. So that's why I recommend Sydney. Now, last but not the least is going to be Shanghai because just like Los Angeles, it's the gateway to um, Asia, and it's one of the most reliable airports in Asia. And then I could have easily told, said Tokyo or Shanghai, but the reason I put Shanghai is because. Um, in my opinion, it has a bit better jobs 
lived in Tokyo, but also that is the gate. It's a bit closer to the mainland Asia, and it's quite close, so you can have. A, and it's a perfect. And also, when you're expanding to um, Asia, it's a perfect way to um, get an Asian foothold. Um, it's not too far. It's not too far in. Um, it's well positioned. You can have quite a lot of flights. I'll show you now. Um, lots of flights available from Shanghai. So this one is going to Los Angeles, as you can see. And the range also, yeah, the range I talk about. Um, Tokyo to Europe is not possible really. So Shanghai to Europe is on the uh, Concords. You just, you just go from Shanghai to London, um, then you can go into Los Angeles. Los Angeles. So that is gonna be. Um, it for today's video. Um, I hope you like it. Um, these are my recommended airports. Um, I recommend you should buy. I think you should buy in the game. I I know I've put I have some key exceptions, such as such as um Joburg, um some South America airports. But I've I've just I've tried to put up the most strategic airports you can buy, which you need to expand your airline, which every airline should at least have. They can build on to other airports, which I'll talk about later. Maybe in a video, maybe in another video, or title secondary, best secondary airports, or something like that. So, if you want more videos like this, please subscribe. Um, I have a lot of videos coming, a lot of giveaways coming up. Um, I'll have more videos just like these coming up in the January season, and I'll talk more about that later. But um, that's the plan. So, anyways, I hope you liked this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.